Hi everyone. Welcome. I am Jenna. This is Apple Dolly Creations and I want to welcome you to my live. So we have a lot of new people. So I want to introduce myself. I am Jenna Anthony. I've been sewing and crafting my entire life. Um, I think I was born crafting and sewing. I, I really do. Um, I used to have a craft store. I've done craft shows. Um, I've done videos for a lot of years. So I have a group. Um, we're redoing the page because the other one was taken away and lost. And because uh, somebody's goofing around and took it. So um, I want to welcome each and every one of you. I like primitive, uh, chippy paint. Uh, antique, vintage. I like to repurpose things. I really like to repurpose things. So today um, I had this frame. I really like this. It's wood. I got it, I think, an antique store or thrift shop probably. It doesn't have glass in it. This, this is the way it came. And I think I paid a dollar for it. But I liked it because of these this raised area. Now I think this here used to be like a velvet trim. There's no velvet anymore. I tried to pull this material off and it's really stuck. So we're gonna paint it. Hi mom. So we're gonna paint this a solid color and then we're just gonna do a wash over this frame. I went on Pinterest and I got a free printable, the old rugged cross, and we were going to grunge this, but when I printed it, it's already it already looks grunged. So this is the old rugged cross, and we're going to take the the white off of there. So let's get started. I have also a wooden a wooden cross. I believe I got this from Hobby Lobby. We're going to paint this also. And we're doing the frame in Waverly Chalk. This is Cashew. And I'm doing the cross in Apple Barrel Nutmeg Brown. And tomorrow I am in Kindred Creation uh, event. It's um, all for Valentine's Day. It's Queen of Hearts, it's called. My time slot was at 10 p.m. It's been moved up to 8 p.m. because somebody is ill. So we hope they hurry up and get better. So they moved my time slot up. So I hope that works for all of you. Watch t this evening and tomorrow, several times tomorrow. I'm going to be posting a link to that group that you can just click on and go watch craft shows. Gr people making crafts. Uh, you've also noticed a lot of other creators post on this page. Um, so you can watch different people besides me i'm sharing those so things that i find interesting i hope you do too so we're going to paint this frame and we're going to fix this song so if you have nothing to do tomorrow you can start watching other people and their crafting So I'm doing this fabric here solid and we're going to set this aside. I'm just doing one coat so whatever it covers it covers because like I said I like the worn chippy, chippy primitive look of things. You're also going to be seeing a lot of sewing I'm going to do some sewing videos because I am redoing my guest room and show you guys what I'm making. So I was supposed to work today, but yesterday I woke up and my hip and knee were killing me. I went to work and 
those of you that's been hanging out with me know I can walk three to six miles in one day at work. The longer yesterday went on, the worse it got. I was up most of the night with it throbbing. And then uh, this morning, I could barely walk at all. So I didn't work today. I only worked three days anyway, so. But right now, but I also took Motrin, it feels pretty good. So this fabric is really sucking this paint up. It's hard to tell how old this frame actually is. <coughs> it never fails. Every time I go live, I get a tickle in my throat. So some of this frame is chipped away. Uh, it's chipped, but it's fine because that's what I like. So this is um, our old time slot we used to do. Then we went to 7 p.m. So most of you will probably get this on replay. Just say hi when you watch it. Let me know you've watched it so I can thank you. Now you see I have a new shirt. A lady contacted me who wanted some sewing done. So she, I did her sewing and she made me shirts. So I think it was a pretty good trade. She did a fantastic job. Her business name is Truly Fine Designs. She's right outside of Uniontown, Pennsylvania. Her name is Chaz, Chastity. So you can look her up if you're looking for ha to have t-shirts made. I'm not sure what else she does make. I also put a link on here today where if you have a small business and you make things, you can uh, post a link to your page there. So we can help each other out. So I'm just gonna wipe this on, just touch the highlights, and then I'm gonna wipe it back off. So we are getting awful rain and wind. I don't know if you all can hear it on the camera or not, because the camera's right in front of a window. So I'm not sure if you can hear it, but it is awful right now out there. They're saying we can get up to 45 mile hour winds. So hopefully I don't lose all of you. Once in a great while at this house, our other house, if it was a storm, we didn't have internet. It went out every time. But in this house, it doesn't seem to do that as much. Once in a while, but not as much as it did at the other house. Just using a piece of felt to wipe this back. I was sewing. I'm doing memory bears for two different people. So I was sewing and then I realized what time it was and I had to put on the brakes and change gears and my thought process. And yeah, sometimes that doesn't work out very well. <laughs> I 
<laughs> so if it seems like I'm scattered, that's the reason. I had to hurry up and switch gears. I should set an alarm when I do this. Okay, we're gonna set this aside and we're going to um, work on this paper. So what I'm doing is I'm taking um, just a foam brush and I'm wetting it. And I'm just going right along the edge of the song, just getting it wet. And I'm gonna let that soak in and I'm doing that all the way around. So if you look up hymns on Pinterest, there are all kinds, every song imaginable, and they're free. You can print them out. So I'm just putting a straight edge here so I don't rip into the song. And I'm just going to take this paper off. See how easy that comes off? And I'm okay with the water uh, going into the song. It just gives it more age. I don't want that black that was up there. Okay. So we're going to take this and mod podge it onto a piece of burlap. So I think we did something similar last year. But I think we made a cross from beads, if I remember correctly. Flip this over and just mod podge it. Now this dries clear. You're going to also mix a little bit of mod podge and grunge, and that will grunge your paper for you. So you can do both of those steps at once. You can put some instant coffee in your in your Mod Podge and that will grunge it for you. I'm putting this on pretty thick because it's going on burlap. And with those torn edges, it gives it more age. And go right back over it, and that seals it in. So I've been waiting on lights from Amazon. They're supposed to have been here two days ago. It's still not here. I'm not sure what the issue is because normally, sometimes I get things same day depending on what it is. Now this Mod Podge on the, the burlap will dry. Just working the wrinkles out.
Now, if you grunge your paper prior to doing this and it's really wrinkled, you can iron it after it's dry. So I have a piece of, oh, let's get our frame. Yeah, it's dry already. So on this frame, there is a lip. Can you see that? There's this raised area. Almost like it was somewhat of a shadow frame. So I'm gluing the burlap to the inside of this frame. And then the cardboard we're going to glue on the outside. It's just going to be a little bit of like a three-dimensional look, I'm thinking. You know what? We're just going to glue it right to the cardboard. So let's... Let's glue the cardboard on first. I told you I'm scattered because I'm in a sewing frame of mind and not a crafting frame of mind. And to me, those are two different frame of minds. Ooh, this glue gun's hot. The other day, <laughs> I had my glue gun on for a couple of hours, not thinking, and we used that child's ball and popped it, I think, because it was really, really hot like it is today. Let's flip this over. And now let's glue this on. And tuck it under. So far, I like that. So we'll pull up one side at a time and put some glue down. So let's paint our cross and get this tray here and let's paint our cross. I have two little wooden beads. Now on this also I'm doing like a wash, I'm just doing the one coat. just doing to one side because the other side's not going to be seen at all once we get it glued down with those beads underneath of it.
So this is all that we're doing to this cross. Now there is a hole in the top of it because it had a jute hanger on it and we're gonna cover that up. I have Mod Podge on my fingers and my fingers are sticking to everything. So this is not gonna take hardly any time at all to dry, but we're gonna hit it with the dryer. So I'm wondering if we should do a little bit of a edge on this. Just highlight the very edge. Yeah. Now, if you don't um, want to go to Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby and buy a cross, you can always make one out of cardboard and then cover it. So I'm going to hit this a little bit with the dryer too. So I have two little beads because I want the cross to be up off of the song and I'm going to glue one on the top and one on the bottom. These are just those square beads from Dollar Tree. Then I'm going to glue this down on top of the song. And I'm going to put it a little bit of an angle because I want the words or the title of the song to be seen. So hold this down for a second. Now I have this, um, I got this at Walmart. It was in their Christmas section. It's called Gift Trim, but it's a thick jute. I'm going to put this right around the edge. And let's start down here. Because I'm going to put stuff at the foot of the cross.
this is really heavy and I got it after the Christmas sale and it was um, originally for sale a $2.98 and I got it for like 70 cents. I'm just putting this right along the edge of the burlap. So we're kind of keeping the whole color scheme monochromatic, the tans and the, the browns and creams. I'm going to tip this up so I can see this side. Where did I put my glue sticks? Let's do one more time around. So I'm pretty excited about being in this group event tomorrow. So I hope you all can have, you have time to watch. I'm very thankful the ladies asked me to join, to participate in it. So mom, I hope you're feeling better. If you know anybody that likes to watch craft videos, tell them about tomorrow's event. Red. <clears throat> I know I've only been in this room for a few months, but I have thread everywhere from sewing. Fiber fail from stuffing bears and the things that we've made. I'm going to have to rip this room apart one day. Give it a good cleaning. That is some pretty heavy jute or gift wrap. Gift 
trim is what it was called, 15 feet. I'd have bought more had they had more. So we have so far. Whoops, is that glued? There we go. Okay. So I have, let me put this away, get it out of my way because it's gonna go flying on the floor. I have this small bunch of flowers. I'm not sure where I got it. It probably was from a, a bunch of flowers I got. And I'm thinking it would look nice down at the bottom of the cross. So I'm going to trim this um, stem off. We don't need all these leaves. And we'll take a little bit of Spanish moss. Just a little bit and put down here at the bottom. And I'm going to take these flowers and tuck them down in there. So what do you think so far? Oh, I'm glad you like it. So up here where the hole is, where the hanger was on this cross, this is one of the corkscrews that we made where we took a straw and some um, Mod Podge. And this is ribbon that I had grunged and wrapped the ribbon around, but well, this is lace, wrap the lace around the straw, set it aside, let it dry. There's different ways of making these corkscrews. That's my way, that's the way I've always done it. I know some people uh, wet their um, ribbon or lace and wrap it around a dowel rod and put it in the oven. That's another way. I've never done that. I've always done it this way. So I'm gonna take these See how we want to do that. Stick them up there. So I just bent one of those that we cut off in half. I think that's all it needs. It doesn't need a whole lot. So that Mod Podge is already dry. So do I need to add anything else to it? What do you think? An old picture frame, a dollar wooden cross, but you could take your jute and wrap it around this cardboard, and that would be a pretty cross too. A song I printed off of Pinterest, a little bit of burlap and jute, and there you go. So when you're watching these videos, I know all the comments get in the way from what what we're doing if you click down the lower left hand corner there's like a little v if you press that all the comments go away and then if you press it again the comments come back so there's a tip if you're trying to watch videos and those comments are constantly getting in your way so i'm glad you like this see that material is already starting to crackle and we didn't even plan for that. 
but I like that. The little bit of, there's a tiny bit of red showing through. So there we go. Just a little bit of paint and a dollar, um, a thrift shop frame and a dollar cross. So God bless you. Watch for my postings on the uh, event that I'm in. I will be posting that in a little while. I'm waiting on an updated version of it. And um, I'm at 8 p.m. instead of 10 p.m. And I hope you have a chance to watch because I'm making something really cute. It's the uh, theme is Queen of Hearts. So it's got to be like a Valentine type thing. Everybody will be doing something different. You know, two of us could take the exact same items and we both would see something totally different. And somebody else might see all of this and think, nope, I'm doing something different. And, you know, it's just everybody has their own imagination. And that's what crafting is, imagination. Hi, Kim. You just caught me at the end. You have to go back and watch. We took a thrift store frame and a wooden cross from Hobby Lobby and a printable of the song, uh, the old ragged cross from Pinterest. And this is what we did. And tomorrow night at 8 p.m., not 10 p.m., I am in an event and I hope you get to watch. So God bless you. Have a great evening and see you tomorrow night. All right, great. Thanks.